Hey, it's Mark Edward Lewis here at Cinema Sound Studio B. On the store at Cinema Sound, a few months ago, we released Adobe Premiere Pro presets for audio in your timeline. And I basically created hundreds of audio presets that I believe are kind of the bread and butter of what you're going to be using as an independent media creative. Even if it's just doing audio productions in Premiere Pro, these presets, which include EQ, compression, limiting, multiband limiting, DSing, all kinds of things are, you know, so important and we use them every day here at Cinema Sound. I want to jump into a couple of examples of how you can use them in your timelines and hopefully inspire you to start using them in ways you might not have thought of before. Let's roll. So I'm here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm just going to show you so how cool it is and fast it is to change sounds using the Cinema Sound Adobe Premiere Pro presets. All right, so check it out. So I've got them up here. They're here in the effects panel, and it's super easy to load them in. We, I'll, we'll happily send you instructions. I got them organized here under the Cinema Sound audio presets. And we've got all kinds of them, combinations, EQs, and these kinds of things, expanders, limiters, multiband compressors, and single band compressors. All right, so let's just take a listen to this clip here with a very simple sequence with one video track and one audio track, but you can add these to any number of clips and create all kinds of fun results. Fan base that's been along for since 2012, I believe. And we are waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens in the fan. So it sounds fine. You know, we recorded it with this Rode Lavalier. It's okay. You know, it doesn't sound great, but it doesn't sound bad. There's a little noise in the background, but it's okay. Kind of what you would expect to hear from an independent production. But let's figure out how fast we can do, get, you know, changing audio sounds. Now, in uh, Adobe, Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro using these presets. All right, so let's go just use some EQs. And we're going to just start our auditioning some of these, maybe some of these that aren't even, you know, for dialogue. We've got the dialogue, the general, the music, and the sound effects, and the, uh, and uh, well, on this one, it's general. Um, and let's just start dropping them in. So what I'm going to do is I will take one of these, I will drop it onto the audio file, we'll audition it for a second, and then I'll undo using a key command, and then we'll try another one. Just show you how fast this is. Fan base that's been along for since 2012, I believe. And we are waiting Boost. on this cliffhanger to see what happens. And the fans are excited, and this is finally happening. And so you guys Cut. are going to be able to take ownership again and come back and finally finish what we started. Yeah. Edge, and we'll drop back. And here's Smooth, which I'm going to tell you you're going to like. Good fan base that's been along for since 2012, I believe. Beautiful. And we are waiting. Let's try a general distance to camera close up. On this cliffhanger to see what happens. And the fans are excited. And this is extreme close up. And so you guys are going to be able to take ownership again and come back Far. and finally finish what we started. Yeah. Cool. Medium shot. It's been a long for. It says 2012, I believe. General Notch. And we are waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens. And the fans and that are notch. and this is finally happening. It's basically sort of a pre-basic uh, grade, which we talk about on the Cinema Sound Education all the time. Let's see what other trouble we can get into. Uh, General in the next room. Thank you for saving. It's been a long story. It says 2012, I believe. And we are waiting. General Loudness Contour. Waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens, and the fans are excited, and this is finally happening. General phone. And so you guys are going to be able to take ownership again, and come back, and finally finish what we started. Let's see. Here's uh, music from the record player. So it's been along for since 2012, I believe. And Orchestral we edge. We are waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens, and the fans Shrill. are excited, and this is finally happening. And these are music so presets. You guys are Let's be move able to down to the sound effects preset. But you can see how fast this is. We're just—I mean, it's just bang, bang, bang. Let's try some of the combos actually, and I'll just show you how really powerful this is when you're not just dragging one preset or one plugin. You're dragging a ton of them. Check this out. So here, good fan base that's been along for Lily Tomlin since 2012, I believe, and we are waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens. And the fans are excited, and this is fine. Silvery happening. sibilance. And so you guys are going to be able to take ownership again, and come back and. Super awesome. Here's a little general contour and edge. 
good fan base that's been along for since 2012, I believe. General Contour, and Control and Roar. we are waiting on this cliffhanger to see what happens. And the fans are excited. Control and Brighton. And this is finally happening. And so you guys are going to be able to take ownership Control and Darken. And come back and finally finish what we started. So it's like, it's sort of like color presets, but for your audio, right? There's compression, multiband compression, limiting, EQ, all kinds of other things that are going on too. And it's super fast. Let's see what other kinds of things can we get into here. There's lots of combos we made. Here's the Godzilla stomp. She probably doesn't have enough frequencies in her voice to make it happen. Let's see. It's been along for, <laughs> since 2012, I believe. And we are waiting on this clip. Edgy and a little cooked. Happens. And the fans are excited. And this is finally happening. Little distortion. And so you guys are going to be able to take ownership again. High takeover. And come back and finally finish what we started. Yeah. And how about the Godzilla roar? We got to check this out. It's been along for, since 2012, I believe. And there are so many hundreds of ways to use these plugins. You can stack them, not to mention that you can create your own versions of them. Use them as a starting point from which you can then create your own customized presets and go from there. In fact, if you're doing that, I'd love to see them on the cinemasound.com forum so that we can all benefit from what it is you're doing, hear about what you're doing, and get you even farther up the Hollywood unfair competitive advantage production value uh, tree <laughs> for your productions. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're